Hey everyone, in this FC24 how to get better video I want to talk about some simple things that you can work through to help you get better at the game. FC24, like all previous FC or rather FIFA releases, uh, are big complicated games. There are many controls to understand, many systems to understand and it will take you time. There is not a quick solution on how to get better in the game. Uh, you just want to take your time learning all the controls and enjoy the journey. So what I really suggest you do when you start out, if you're confused with everything, on the root menu, have a little look at learn to play. So this area has loads of different things in it that will help you understand how all of the controls work in the game and get used to them. So if you have a little look, first of all, at skill games and explore this area, this is an area that gives you loads of things that aim towards just the basics or dribbling, ground pass, long pass, defending, goalkeeper, set pieces, shooting, practice scenarios, etc. So as you go through these, you're going to understand how the game works. So if we go for something very simple like ground pass, uh, it gives you a nice little instruction on how this works and you're going to learn those buttons. So we can immediately see on the Xbox, ground pass is A, X is cross, and it's going to go through some mini scenarios that just help you with this. So it says move the player and then ground pass. We get these nice little icons that explain what we've got to do here. So we're just going to press A and point at this player, then this player. And as you do it successfully, you see we get a little points bonus. So we get an idea of how good we're doing this. And our objective here is just to complete them as we go. Now it's uh, pushing that a little bit more. It says move to the highlighted zone and perform a lob pass to the highlighted teammate. So we're going to see different buttons now as we come forwards. Lob pass is X. So I'm getting used to a different type of passing still in this nice environment. I'm getting used to dribbling and just building up my skills ever so gradually. And of course, this is going to help me get better at FC24. So of course, you know, this is a really simple one. And what I really like about this area, so you can see we've done all that now. Now we've got to complete six passes in a row. So we'll do that. So we can do different ones here. We can try playing with the different sort of through passes. And now I'm sort of building up what I knew uh, to try and complete this without failing. So you can see I failed there. So we'll have another go. One, two, three. It's pretty hard to do this while I'm talking to you as well. So don't judge me, man. Don't judge me. I'm just trying to help, man. <laughs> There you go, so we got outstanding. So you can then retry the drill, you can continue or you can quit. So uh, I'm just gonna quit out of this one. And once you get that, you'll get a little score so you can track how much you're improving. So obviously uh, the higher the score, the better. So it's gonna give you a good idea on you know improving your game and understanding these simple concepts. And then as you're happy with the basics, you can move on to dribbling and ground pass and long pass, defending, goalkeeper, set pieces, shooting and practice scenarios. Now, I'm not saying you have to do all of those to get better at FC24, but it's really going to help you on your journey. So have a little look at the areas that you're not sure on and go through those. If we come back out of there, there are also some other areas that can help you. So there's the practice arena. This has been polished for FC24 and you've now got more options with it. And the idea with this one is I can set it up however I want so I can move players around just to try a particular scenario. I can get rid of players if I want. So I could put this one and I'll use right trigger to move them off the pitch there. Uh, I could grab, grab another player. You get the idea here. It's just a bit more interesting than it was before. And then I hit the screens button to start the game and then just practice with these players here in this scenario. So that's quite cool that we've got that and we get a little cheeky goal there. Uh, the other thing you can do is hit the screens button, uh, sorry, the pause button. You can practice things like free kicks or practice match. You can change the camera, you can change the difficulty. So you can also access your button help and skill moves help here. So the practice arena is good for having a little look at the special skills uh, players can use. And bear in mind that not all players can use all skills. So you need to bear in mind whether they are capable of using those skills. Just depends. You can have a little look on their player details to see that. You can also have access to the buttons and flick between these on the top left, left trigger, right trigger, or L2, R2 on the PlayStation between all of the different controls that you've got and just have a little play with them and understand it. Another nice little thing in here is the free kick mode. So this one, you can just move your player where you want to practice a free kick from. Go here and then have a little play with this and just see whether you can score. I'll probably miss now, but we'll have a little go. So Alexander-Arnold. Oh, it was a good try. Good save by the keeper. So you can move this about and just keep playing with it. I won't bore you with that though. So when we're happy with that, we can just exit out. So I hit the pause button and choose exit. That's another way on how to get better in the game. And lastly, you've got training center and this one will go through various different lessons uh, and also help you go through a lot of different things. So it's kind of like um, a little more personalized than the other modes that I've shown you. 
um, but it's also very, very useful. So these are you know bigger scenarios. So this is going to simulate more of a complete game as opposed to a small training environment. So for example, this one where we've got Liverpool versus Man United, you can see I'll have little objectives. So it's saying, look, try and do these in the game, and then you know you'll clear these objectives as you go. Uh, and then there's other little ones here that we can try, like penalty kicks or whatever. Uh, as we go through. So it's giving you access to all of these core concepts in the game. So we'll just have a quick little look at one, like the penalty kicks, for example. So we could see time, time your shot. So we'll have a little go. So I'm moving my left stick to the left a little bit, and then I'm going to hold the shoot button, which is B for me, when it's at the bottom, and just do a little shot like that, and just see whether we get it. There we go. So the more you hold down the shoot command B, the more the power will up. So like that, you see just down the bottom left, it's quite faint, but the green bar is building up underneath McAllister's name there. So you can just keep practicing that, and then you will get more points as you go, um, you know, with this thing here. So if you want to pause it or finish it, you just hit the pause button, you can retry or you can quit, and you'll get a score, I think, with this one, just like you did before. Um, so yeah, that's all good. Um, but yeah, all of those things are going to help you get better in the game. So uh, it's really good to go through those. And then when you have then happy with those, you can then jump into Ultimate Team or manage your career or whatever, and you're going to feel a lot better with your skills in the game. So I hope that was useful to you. If it was, give us a thumbs up, please. That's much appreciated. Any comments, welcome. If you need more help with the game, do let me know with what. I'll also put a tutorial playlist at the end of here for FC24. I've got loads of ideas coming. I've covered FIFA 23, 22, 21 on my channel, so a lot of experience in this game. So I'll help you as I can. And if you've got any questions that I don't currently cover, do let me know or thoughts on FC24 in general or your life in general. I don't really mind. I read all my comments and constructive ones I always try and reply to. Thanks so much. And if you like what you see on here, hit that subscribe, will you? I don't just cover FC24, but many other games too. Cheers.